Hello everyone, this is a video about a temperature control in a heat exchanger. This example shows how to design a feedback and feed forward compensator to regulate the temperature of a chemical reactor through a heat exchanger. Using this uh, interactive uh, map, you can, select the, you can select the control system that is open loop or um, feedback or feed forward or both feedback and feed forward here. So using this, we can adjust, you can select the control uh, type you can see. You can also uh, adjust a feed forward gain and feed forward uh, a delay parallelly. In this heat exchanger uh, temperature control uh, demo shows uh, this response of uh, feed forward control system that is tank temperature versus time and also it shows the disturbance and temperature T and the control signal V. Uh, especially this example shows how to design feedback and feed forward compensators to regulate the temperature of a chemical reactor through a heat exchanger. Here in this um, heat exchanger uh, process the chemi uh, chemical reactor called a uh, stirring tank is depicted here. And the tap inlet delivers uh, liquid to be mixed with the tank. The tank liquid must be maintained at a constant temperature by varying the amount of uh, steam supplied to the heat exchanger that is its bottom uh, pipe bottom pipe via its uh, control value. Here variations in the temperature of the inlet uh, flow are the main source of uh, disturbance in this problem here. Uh, this uh, liquid flow, it is a blue color, is a liquid flow and this is a uh, st uh, stirring tank and this is a valve and this is a heat exchanger is show showed in a red manner. It is a figure uh, shows a stirring reactor with heat exchanger. Now we can run this simulation, what will happen you can see. Afterwards the response, uh, we are select the control type is feed forward, feedback that is a FFB. Here you can see the uh, top inlet deliver the liquid to be mixed with this tank and also we can see the graph that is a response of uh, feedback control system. Uh, yeah, the dotted line, blue lines, it shows the uh, disturbance and this temperature, this is a uh, T shows the uh, solid line shows the temperature and um, uh, this dotted line shows the uh, control signals V here. Then uh, we can see with the parallel, we can adjust feed forward gain also, we can adjust feed forward delay also. Now we can select uh, this feed forward uh, FF control type, again you can uh, run, what will happen you can see. Based on that we can tune the uh, feed forward control and the feedback control gains uh, by using this companion GUI and uh, this simlink model. Now we can see the uh, response of uh, feed, uh, feed forward control systems. It shows the label here. Now uh, you can uh, use both feed, uh, feedback and feed forward. What will happen? You can see. Now you can see the response of a joint uh, feedback and feed forward control system. Also, you can parallelly uh, you can adjust this feed forward gain. What happened? You can see. Uh, for example, I am choosing um, in between the value 0 0.1 to 2, 1.16 you can see and the feed forward delay that is 19.2 based on that you can uh, by using this interactive GV you can also see, see the uh, the tank is and the correct and also it shows the message a yeah, disturbance in the inlet flow temperature uh, occurred here based on that we can tune uh, feed forward control here directly you can to, uh, adjust this feed forward gain and feed forward delay here for, for example I am using here uh, open loop also this diagram shows the open loop control type here now you can see the uh, uh, simulation what will happen you can see here these inputs are a disturbance and set point here also this feed feed forward control and feedback controls are utilized here here uh, this plant uh, disturb disturbance uh, gd and the uh, heat exchanger plant also shows that here uh, you can get this data in workspace after successful simulation you can uh, get this data uh, in this in the form of uh, etx uh, get data uh, workspace it's a interactive simulation shows a uh, temperature control in a heat exchanger thanks for watching thank you